Outside of California, if they think we have agriculture at all, and there's still people surprised at how much ag we have, yeah, we're the number one ag producing state, $51 billion, 70,000 farms, um, but over two thirds of the farms are less than 500 acres. And many, many of the smallest farms are actually landowners who do work in other professions and they are full time in an ag industry, but they want that 40 acre almond orchard that's part of their retirement plan. So there are other ways of getting into it. I'm not saying they're all the right way, but that's what we have to be intentional about is that there are revenues enough that you can actually know that I can own this at the end of the day and still have a great lifestyle and still be connected to agriculture in a rural community that, that I think create opportunities. And it's something that Secretary Phil Sex really working hard on. As a quarter of my chapter, it's, I felt that it was my duty to come here and learn more about the industry and kind of help my chapter grow from what it is today to be even better. My favorite part uh, was being on the panel, of course, getting to interact with, uh, you know, Madam Secretary. She was very nice, very down to earth, and she was, you know, willing to jump off the stage and, you know, run around, talk to the kids. It was, it was nice to see that at the end of the day. We're all very like-minded people and it's come to come together. I like how there's an emphasis on diversity, but also specifically diversity and knowledge. The other thing that's really important, and for this region it's very exciting, is thinking about all the different things that come off of a farm that currently we think of as waste and a product to get rid of. That as we talk about a circular economy and bio-based economies, converting those waste streams to useful products. They could be supplements, replacements for synthetic fertilizers for soils. Um, there's a lot, a lot of work happening on almond hulls to plastics. And I think that's an exciting new chapter of biosciences that are going to create other pathways that not only will help us on our climate goals, but more importantly, get additional revenues back to the farm. So think big. This was a wonderful experience. We got to see many different speakers from the ag community. I really liked to meet Secretary Ross. She had a lot to offer to all of us. And it's very awesome to see all these alternative technologies and future pathways for agriculturalists. MJC is a fantastic place. It's built a fantastic program. I'm excited to see what's to come and how they're gonna to continue to grow from where they were at even 15 years ago to where they're at today. It's amazing, I can't wait.